upon a time, there was a boy who lived in a small village far away. His name was Olabode, and he was known throughout the village as a selfish and greedy boy. He wanted everything for himself and would often take things from others even without asking. His parents had tried several times to teach him that sharing was important, but he refused to listen. One day, Olabode decided to venture into the jungle to pick some fruits. He didn't want to be accompanied by anyone. He had heard that there were some very rare fruits deep in the jungle that he could sell in the village and make so much money. I want it all to myself, he thought. He set off on this journey with a basket and his sharp matchet. As he walked into the jungle, he saw some beautiful fruits and picked them. He went a little deeper into the jungle and saw even fresher and more beautiful fruits and picked them too. His basket was already full, but he decided to take off his shirt and tied it to form a bag. I should go deeper. The fruit there must be superb, he said to himself as he went deeper and deeper into the forest. Then he began to notice that the trees were getting taller and thicker, and the ground was becoming more difficult to navigate. He didn't pay much attention to this anyway, and instead focused on only finding the fruits he sought. After a while, he realized he was lost. He tried retracing his steps and calling out for help, but no one answered. He started to panic and realized how foolish he had been to venture so deep into the forest alone, without a guide. As the night drew closer, Olabode began to hear strange noises from the forest, and he became even more afraid. He decided to seek refuge in a nearby cave he had seen on the journey. Inside the cave, Olabode huddled in a corner, surrounded by his basket and his shirt bag, and the fruits he had picked. He regretted not listening to his parents about not being so selfish. He wished he had someone with him, you know, someone to talk to. But it was too late for that now. Olabode did not know how long he had been in the cave, when he heard a soft knock at the cave. To his surprise, it was a talking frog that had come to visit him. Olabode was amazed. He had never seen a talking frog before. The frog said to Olabode, I heard you calling for help, and I came to see if I could assist you. But oh, wow, what do you have there? Those look so yummy. Please, can I have one? Olabode grabbed his fruits and pushed them behind. No way. No way I'm sharing this with you. If you want to help, please help. If not, you can go away. The frog left. Olabode came out from the cave and continued his search for a way out. He walked and walked. He seemed like he had been in the forest for days. He became hungry, tired, and worn out. The fruits he picked were no longer fresh. He remembered his last encounter with the frog and how selfish he had been to a creature which had come to help him. Ah, now there is no help, no fruits, and there might be no me soon. He began to cry. Just then, the little frog came again. Hello! I heard you crying and have come to know if you need some help. Olabode cried a lot. He explained his situation to the frog and how he got lost in the jungle. I regret so many things. I regret so, so many things I have done. I would never have been in this situation. Hey, Joe, help me. 
He cried. <laughs> you got lost because you were selfish, replied the frog. You only thought about yourself and you didn't think about the consequences of your actions. I came earlier to help, but I realized you were here to learn your lessons. Now I am here to teach you a lesson. The frog continued. Shori, you may have picked all these fruits for yourself, but where are they going to get you now? You're lost, alone and afraid. Even the fruits are no longer good because they are all rotten. You need to learn to share and show compassion to others. Olabode became agitated. How does the frog know this much about me? What will he do to me now? He sobbed. He knelt down and begged the frog for forgiveness. He promised to never show selfishness anymore. The frog then said, I can see that you are willing to change. I will show you the way out of this jungle, but you must first bear the mark of the forest on your back. What that means is that we have the right to bring you back here if you fail to keep your promise. And now, you must promise me that you will change your ways, be less self-centered and more compassionate towards others. Uh, I promise! I promise! Olabode said, and the mark of the forest, like a leaf, rested on his back to seal the promise. The frog showed Olabode the way out of the jungle, and he returned home a changed boy. His new attitude was reflected in everything he did, and he used his experience in the jungle to teach others the importance of kindness and compassion. The end. Thank you.